Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. Today we are making a rhubarb cake with butter sauce. We saw this online. Rhubarb is in full swing right now, at least at my mom's house. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Um, mine's not so good yet, but I have a new patch. So anyway, so fresh rhubarb here. This is a little stuff for, picture, for the picture. So we have four cups of flour, two cups of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt already mixed up in here. And now we are going to be adding in six cups, or six tablespoons, not cups, sorry, six tablespoons of melted butter. Mix that in there. Pull that out. A tablespoon of vanilla. Two cups of milk. Mix this all together. I'll try to mix it by hand a little. Here. The mixer is kind of noisy on the, the videos. We'll see if we can make it work. And then we have our 9 by 13 pan all buttered and ready to go here. The oven is all warmed up at 350. So we have everything ready to rock and roll. rhubarb diced all up and chopped up here in different sizes. It's kind of smaller the better. And I like choking all my stuff. So. Now this is going to be a little bit lumpy. That's okay too. But I am going to use the mixer just for a second here. And cut that volume down a teeny bit, honey. Just some of the flour is a little bit chunky. That in a little bit. It's all coated with the flour mixture, the batter. Mm, look how gorgeous that is. I did add a little bit of cinnamon too to this just because the original recipe that we will link does not have that and actually the vanilla is not in the original recipe in the link either. Just so you know, but I like to add vanilla and cinnamon to anything I make with rhubarb or blueberries too. <laughs> Pretty much anything I add vanilla and cinnamon because <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we are going to dump this into our 9 by 13 pan. Well, that's a lot. I've never made this before, so we're going to find out. But it's rhubarb. How bad can it be, right? Looks like it's going to be overkill on that 9 by 13 pan, though. If it's big, that is going to be huge. Could have put it into a sheet pan. Maybe next time I would do a sheet pan. We'll see. See how much it raises up. If it raises high, the next time I would do a sheet pan with it. So that is ready to go. Looks like that. We're going to throw it in the oven. Um, it says 45 minutes-ish. We'll kind of watch it and check after 30 minutes. I like to keep an eye on things because my oven doesn't always work all that great. It's a little bit hot. So anyways, we'll throw it in there and we'll be back when we take it out later. Thanks. All right, we're going to check on that cake. It's been 45 minutes in there. Let's see how it's, it's testing pretty good. Just looks awful light colored, but it's testing done. So we're gonna pull it out of here. Let's show that right up here, buddy. This one. This is the butter or the cake with the butter sauce. We have to make the butter sauce later. Turn these and let that stay longer. All right. So we will come back later with a picture of the buttercream. We gotta make the buttercream for it later sauce, and we'll have it cut by then. We'll let this cool down a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, our cake is done. It's cooled down a little bit. So we are making our butter sauce for on top. And this 
have a half a cup of butter, one cup of sugar, and three quarters cup of heavy cream in here. And we've been boiling it. Uh, we just got it to a boil. But it's boiling pretty good for one minute, it says. And then we're gonna just take it off the burner, add a little vanilla to that, and let it cool a little bit. And then we will pour it over top of our nice piece of cake that we cut so you can see how pretty it is. This real quick. I don't know that I'll have time to put it on there. That has to be in a minute anyway. So we go to that. Shut it off. Keep stirring a little bit. Start cooling down a little bit here. Oh, it's kind of gotten a little bit of a yellow. Let me come closer. Then. A little bit of a yellow tone to it. Kind of deepened up a little bit. Cook it a little longer. We add just a teeny bit of vanilla in there. Stir that in for more flavor. And then we'll just let it cool down a little bit. We won't stay too long here. Looks really good. Smells good. And to serve it, you would, of course, we would let it cool down. Come real close, buddy. We would let it cool down a little bit more, but um, this is what we do, and just drizzle a little bit over top, and serve it up like so. Looks wonderful. So thanks for stopping by. That is our rhubarb cake with butter sauce. <laughs> thanks again. Bye-bye.